All right, hey gang, Conman here. Haven't seen you in a while. Um, we're gonna do something today. This is a quick match that we're getting ourselves into. We're gonna watch the replay. We're actually gonna skip around a bit. I'm gonna cut to a few different points of this. This was a quick match game that I played um, just because Muradin, I think, was close to leveling and he was gonna get a chest, and I wanted a chest. So I figured, why the hell not? Um, but anyway, what I wanna do here is just kinda point um, I kind of picked this game apart. We we eventually won, I believe, this game. I don't even remember at this point. But um, what I wanted to comment about, there were a few parts in this game. You know, one of the things I always talked about in the A to Z videos were were map awareness and just kind of paying attention to the mini map, kind of having an assessment of where you're at, where the enemy team is at, where you think they're at, how many people are alive at any given time at any given team, you know, are you in danger of getting ganked? And this was one of those games where there were a lot of circumstances where I think that um, uh, the team kind of let their guard down. Uh, anyway, let's get started. We're, we're kind of go through. We'll probably skip ahead a bit. Uh, I was playing Muradin. Our, our Ariel was unhappy with the matchmaker, complaining that their team had more account levels than us. I, you know, that's whatever. I don't think that's a big deal. You know, you look at the comps here. Uh, neither team, well, they have a tank. We both have a Nova. Uh, we both have a healer. You know, I'm, I guess I'm going to end up being their tank. As it as it plays out, so I take uh, I take third win to start off with, so it's just one of those things. So anyway, uh, we start off with kind of a skirmish in the middle. I don't think the matchmaking in this particular sense is all that bad. You know, Tassadar's pretty solid. We've got a both both teams have got a specialist. Anyhow, let's uh, let's cut to the first chase here. We're just going to start off in the beginning, and uh, we see right away we've got Murky already immediately pushing bottom. He's already on the bottom. Nothing too special, just a bunch of skirmishing in the middle. And now, all right, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause right here, just for the sake of argument. So right away, all already in the beginning, we're doing an okay job. I mean, Arthas is pretty low. These guys are all right, but we've got we've got Murky all the way in the bottom. He's already killed a couple minions. He's gonna push. He's got a puffer puffer fish about to go. Nobody is in the top lane. Nobody's thinking about going into the top lane. Although we did push them off. Arthas does manage to get away. Ultimately, ultimately, Oriole backs off and goes top lane. Now, this is where, right, right away, I mean, I think, I think Nazebo is the one who needs to go, if anybody, or we need to, you know, to clear them out and go as a four-man. You know, I don't expect a four-man rotation in a quick match, um, but I think... In this case, you don't necessarily want Oriole to go. Nazebo's probably uh, the player to go up there and kind of take top lane and start to clear that out. And also maybe build up some stacks for himself, as, as the case is. And I, you see myself, I you look at the mini-map here, I ended up going down bottom just because we're giving up free XP. We've already lost at least one uh, lane of experience, one minion wave of experience, uh, and we've already lost half of one of our towers. So let's cut off to the next point in the clip, and we'll go from there. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so I paused it over here. We uh, the scene is at this point we lost the first shrine phase. Uh, not too bad. I mean, we're not too far behind. We were actually a little bit closer, but now they're about to hit level eight. We're just about to get level seven. But here's the scene. So here is Nazebo. He's up top. He finally, after all this, finally went up to the top lane. He's pushing a little bit. You see, he's got a wave going on. You've got Murky down on bottom. You can see Murky on bottom. We lost Murky push through our first fort. They've got a, a couple of minions and a Murk camp coming through. Both of our healers, both of our supports are going down to deal with Murky for reasons. Fine. Not a big deal at this point. They'll, they'll, at the very least, they'll be able to clear this push out before he gets to the next set. Maybe they'll get the kill on Murky. It's whatever. All right. Over here in mid. So I'm in mid. I kind of been skirmishing back and forth trying to soak some XP. Nova had just walked back over um, from being dead, and she's finally back into the middle of it. Now, at this point, if you're Nazebo, you can see one person, two people. You don't know where Stukov is. Here's the thing: you don't know where Nova is. Your team is nowhere near you. Look how far, far out he is. You have to assume you've got Arthas here who can slow you down, who can root you. You have to assume that you're prime gank potential right now. You need to back off. So let's just play this out. We'll see how this goes. So he goes through. 
he goes through, ends up rooting himself in... <laughs> ends up... Look at that. Ends up rooting himself in his own um, zombie wall. Doesn't realize that he can break it early. Nova pops out because there she is. You don't see her in the minimap. You have to assume that Nova's there. And dead. Just like that. Now, you don't know Nova's there. You don't know Nova's there. Um, Stukov eventually popped up on the minimap over here. But you have to assume, if you're, that if you're that far out, especially if you have a Nova on the team, if you're that far out, you have to assume that she is going to be there and she's going to be able to get you pick, you know, pick you off. So it's just, you know, it's a mistake and it's not a, you know, game ending mistake, but it's just something you want to keep in the back of your head. Always, especially in the early game, always assume if there's someone who's out there who's going to be able to gank you, assume they're there, unless you know otherwise for sure. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so here we go. Next, uh, next section of this game here. So we've lost the next Punisher. You see, they've already got ten. They actually picked us off because of that. We uh, we were in the middle of the kill in the shrine. Uh, they had a ten. They rolled up. We get some kills. They get some kills. Now you can see right now, we're all we're all super low. I am barely going to get away. Uh, Nazebo's low. We've got three people dead. Punisher is over here. It's on his way, but they're all alive. One, two, three, four. Uh, who are we missing? We're missing Murky is somewhere around. I think we killed him, so he's gonna come back from his egg. But anyway, you got four people right here. So I barely get away. I think I had low as 44 health. I got super lucky. Now, this is one of those things, like, this is, is kind of map awareness. It's like, Nazebo, what is he doing? I run off. I go to Hearth. Like, I'm, I'm running away. I'm like, okay, I'm safe. I'm gonna stop right here. I go to Hearth. So th this Nazebo is trying to get some poke damage against at the very least so murky's over here but at the very least you've got the you got two people right here you knew they was the entire four plus the punisher plus you know the punisher is gonna leap that's exactly what it does he jumps up stun 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 boom gets exploded like that's just just back off that unfortunately is a fort that is lost there's really there really wasn't anything that we can do about that everyone on our team who could have done anything at all was dead they were respawning they weren't going to get there in time your best bet at that point is to just back off. <laughs> okay, we're up to the uh, to the next part. So here we go. We uh, we we won the next the next immortal or the next Punisher, I should say. Excuse me. Um, barely, we lost most of the team doing it, but we do win the Punisher. We got a little bit of value out of it. So right, right now, you can see we've we've caught up in terms of levels. We got a bunch of kills. We've had some trades that were favorable for us. Um, we're just a little bit behind. But here we go. We've got. As you can see, their Nova is dead, so it's four on five at the moment, although most of us are low. The Shrine is just getting ready to activate. It's all the way up on the top. We're all the way in the bottom. You can see in the minimap, Nazebo is ready to go. He ran up there. He's ready. He's prepared. Um, Nova is low. She's either got a hearth or just head up there. At this point, we were, we were kind of engaging over here. As you can see, I'm calling for retreat. I'm at super low mana. I don't want to go into this fight. One, I don't want to fight underneath the fort, even though uh, all the shots are gone. I didn't actually realize at the time that all the shots were gone, although the uh, the tower still got some shots left. But I wanted to head up to the shrine, so I'm pinging retreat. Tassadar's kind of in a rough spot. These two over here, Stukov and Alarak are at full health. Um, Oriel's got some, some energy at least, but I'm pinging retreat because I'm getting the heck out of dodge. My plan was to go hearth. I know at least, I know Nova's dead. At least two of them are down bottom. Nazebo's already ready to go. My plan, I'm going to hearth. I'm going to make a beeline up for the top and be ready to engage for the shrine. So let's see how this plays out. So I'm pinging retreat. Get the hell out of dodge. These guys just, they see me leave. At this point, they see me leave. They just stay there. They get slowed. He gets shoved all the way over to the, all the way over there. Now, fortunately for him, he's able to hearth and get out. Like, that was that was very fortunate. That could have ended a lot worse than it than it did. Um, Tassadar very easily could have got picked off and killed. Oriel could have gotten picked off and killed. That's one of those things where you just, you got to look at and, you, you, know, you know, check your map and go, yeah, it's it's time to go. All right, let's, uh, let's see where we end up next. Okay, and welcome back. So we're at this point right here. We had won the next Punisher. We had gone through, um, as you can see up on the mini-map, we managed to take their top their top keep, which is pretty great. We're in a really good spot. We're now ahead. We've got 20. Uh, they're about to hit 20, but we're still a level ahead. We've gone through after the Punisher phase. We're going to th go through and clear some camps. Uh, we had just gotten the camp over here in the bottom. Nova had hearth. Oriole's heading up to the Bruiser camp up top. Uh, Nazebo is clearing a wave on the bottom. So I'm over here. I'm just kind of, of peeking. I want to see what's going on. There's four of them here. You can see that there's four. One, two, three, four. With Alarak up top, he's clearing this wave and this catapult that's coming through. Now, I don't actually want to engage because four on one is going to get me killed. Um, I just I was curious where they were headed. 
more than anything else. So but watch what happens. We're going to let this play out. So I go through, I take a peek over here. Nova's ping, she was pinging the whole game. I realize, yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, once they leave my line of sight, I go, I'm going to bail out because I don't want to get caught in this bush here by myself. And I want to go help Oriel take care of that, um, take care of the camp. Now watch, watch the Zebo on the mini-map. Watch these guys. You see them. You can still see them. Watch the Zebo come up on the mini-map. Now he is in plain sight. Like all of these are in plain sight. We have vision of all of this. The Zebo is coming up. He's far enough away right now where he's going to be okay, but watch, I'm, I'm picking on this poor guy, but watch what happens. The three of us, now he's got no team near him, like the rest of us are up here. Tassadar's dead, the rest of us are up, up here taking this camp. So here we go. So he goes through, he goes to poke. He goes to get some engage. So there, we got Nova, here we go. So we've got, we've got Nova, who's, who's she's kind of backing off. I don't know if that's the real one or not, I'm not sure. Um, here's Stukov, here's Alara, uh, Arthas coming in. Your fort is dead, you do have your tower, but it's at low health, but your fort is dead. So you go through, you, okay, so you drop some toads. At that point, your best bet is to bail out. Just, just go away. Just, you've got Stukov, who's a little bit behind, he's behind these, uh, the ginger men zombies. So he's gonna take a moment to get to you. You don't know which, which Nova this is. You definitely have Arthas coming up on your tail, and again, he can slow, he can root you. He goes through, all right, throws an auto attack. Arthas is now under the tower, but that's not going to slow him down. You end up, Nazebo ends up, I'm kind of moving the camera over the place, sorry. Nazebo ends up getting rooted. Here's the Nova, so clearly this is the fake Nova, this is the real Nova. Stukov comes through. You, He gets surrounded, and he gets killed. So it's one of those things where you just go, like, you knew that they were there, you had plenty of time to walk your way up, and Zebo could have come up here, just, just conveniently walked right over here, avoided everybody, and come up and, and met up with the team up here as, we fin as we're finishing off this camp. Just, you gotta you know, pay attention to the map, see what's up. That was getting picked off needlessly. You know, you, yeah, you, you drop some poke damage on, on Arthas, um, but Stukov is here, he's just gonna heal that right back up right fast. It's just gonna get yourself killed. Now, Nova had came had come over seeing this unfold to come help out. Is in danger herself. But fortunately she does manage to get away. Now we're lucky, uh, because they come right into us, and I think we get the pick here on Arthas. Nope, I stand corrected. Yep. Nova ends up getting killed. Oriel ends up getting killed. Now we're still. Actually, it looks like that was that was Nova's uh, Nova's decoy that ended up getting killed. These guys are going in. Tassadar goes in on a one v four. Now we managed to get the kill on Arthas in exchange, but there really wasn't any need for that as well. So now we're now we put ourselves in a rough spot. So we've got a shrine that's about to open up. We were lucky to get Arthas picked off, but we've it's now a two on five or two on four. Um, and there really isn't much. We're, we're basically going to have to seed that shrine. There really isn't anything that we can do. Plus, plus, as you can see down here, Murky's going to be putting some pressure on our bottom fort, and we got to watch out for that. So let's see how this goes out, shall we? All right, so let's check it out again. So surprisingly, we actually won that Punisher that I said we were just going to have to give up. The enemy team was clearing out a wave up on the top. They had some catapults that were pushing on the core. Um, nobody really went to go and take that take the shrine. They left it largely undefended. They, they came up to kind of contest at the very end. At that point, it was a little too little, uh, too little, too little, too late for them. Uh, we only had four to go. They did get some kills, as you can see. Tassadar and Nova are down. Um, we do have some kills in return. So, although Murky's about to come back up. So let's see how this plays out. Now, you see, we're, we've got Oriel and myself are pushing with the Punisher. Nazebo is bringing a nice big wave bottom. He's going to push through and try to take put some pressure on this bottom uh, keep. Now you see the Shimmer of Nova, I'm not sure which Nova that is at this point, but you know she's somewhere nearby, um, Arthas is somewhere around as well. Let's see how this plays out and what I'm talking about. So we get the fort, which is nice, we're going to put some pressure on this over here. And you see we do have a wave, now here's Nova, there's Murky, Murky, Murky hits Mar March of the Murlocs, and this is a mistake that we make. Um, Oriel and I stay here way too long. We're super slowed. She starts to back off. Like, we're still, at this point, once we hear Murky go, we should back off. Um, Arthas just comes running in. The Punisher's already over the wall. What ultimately happens is Oriel slowed and slowed more and rooted, and there really isn't anything that I can do. I try to jump over and get the stun off, 
but it's unfortunately she gets down. That's just a mistake that we made personally that we stuck around too long. Um, and we got caught in all of the slows. Now I'm able to get away because of Murden and I'm able to get away. Now, at this point, if you're in a Zebo, you just see uh, somebody get killed. Now watch this on the minimap. You're going to see this on the minimap. I back off. They can't catch me. I'm, I'm fortunate. I get a stun there. I, I go to hop off. I run away. Now, Nazebo's over here. I understand he's got this huge wave that he wants to push down this wall. But you can see in the minimap, Arthas is coming his way. You can see that. Or if you're Nazebo, he can see that. At this point, Nazebo needs to back off. He needs to run over, run over here and either mount up and get the hell out of town or run into the shrine and um, hopefully have enough time before he can hearth. Ultimately, what ends up doing, the Zebo ends up sticking around. Arthas comes out of nowhere. There's Arthas. There's Alarak. I said Arthas. Alarak comes out of nowhere. But there's all of the A's. And there's Stuck Off. And then there's a dead Nazebo again. Um, so that's unfortunate. I'm, I'm, I'm picking on the poor guy, but he's hanging out way too long. Super overextending. Not paying attention to what's going on. And getting himself killed. So. Let's, uh, I think there's, uh, this game actually blissfully is almost over. We're already 23 minutes in. I think we've only got one more shrine left to do. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. I think this is coming up on the end of the game. It looks it based on, uh, based on the timeline here. But again, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of, kind of pick on the Zebo one more time. So this shrine is just about to start. Uh, we, as you can see, again, we've got, we've got two people dead. So it's three. Uh, Stukov had just spawned. And you can see Alarak was just clearing out a couple of catapults that were coming their way. So, at best, it's three on three for a few seconds, at least at the shrine. But you can see you got three people. Nazebo is just making a beeline straight for the shrine. Now, you know Nova's there. You know Arthas is there. You see Murky coming up. You know, we had backed off to go kill a, uh, a bruiser camp that Murky had bribed. Murky had picked up. So, Nazebo all by his lonesome. Alarak is probably too far out of way, but... Got very lucky that he actually backed off. They probably could have got a pick on Nazebo right there and picked him off. He was very, very, very lucky that that didn't happen. So we run through. Alarak actually steps out too far outside of the range of March of the Murlocs. Uh, I think he gets killed. He just barely makes it. Okay. This turns out to be a, a, a pretty crazy fight at the end. Now they've got 30, as you can see, going on. We immediately make a beeline in. We kill Murky. We're going up here. Alarak comes in. I'm going to chase him around. They have 33. We're going to dive through. We're going to get the kill on Alarak. We're going to get the kill on Arthas. Stukov is over there. I think he gets away. Nova's going to chase him down. Tassadar gets killed on our side. Now here, here's where it gets close. Here's where it gets interesting. So there's two of them still alive. Here comes Murky coming through. We've got Oriel and Zebo who are taking out uh, the Guardians. They have 34. And Murky, that was a really, really good stun. I didn't actually recall that stun in the beginning. 39. I saw Nova got picked off. There goes Stuck Off. And now here's where we go where we just barely make it. 39 to 39, and we finally get the last one. That was a good whip by uh, by Oriel on the Murky. I think, I'm pretty sure this is where the game finally ends. He, Tassadar gets resurrected. We'll just play this out. Um, just blissfully see how this goes. Everybody is dead but Murky. They're all going to respawn just in time for the Punisher to get there. Murky is nowhere to be found. As you can see, he's all the way on the bottom. Nova's going to pick him off. There that goes. All right. Here is everybody coming out of the Nexus. However, it is just too little too late. Sort of. It's a 26-minute Punisher. There goes Arthas. And, and thankfully, thankfully, that's the game. Uh, yeah, take that matchmaker, I think is what I end up saying at the end of this. There we go. Yep, take that matchmaker. Just to, goes to show you that the matchmaker uh, doesn't have anything to do with it. I do want to go over the stats real fast. We got we got we got killed a lot, but I mean I did pick on that I did pick up that Nazebo. Eight eight deaths for the Nazebo. Ten deaths for the Tassadar. Nova herself was kind of you know face checking all of the bushes and whatnot, and she got herself picked off a bunch. Those are eleven for her. I died zero times, partially because I'm murdered in, but partially because I was checking the map, um, which is kind of the point. We this game lasted 27 minutes, just about 27 minutes. Um, it could have been over 
much sooner had we not gotten ourselves picked off so many times. You know, a lot of the deaths that I pointed out, some of the deaths that happened were just they we got you know we got killed in team fights, and that's about that's going to happen when you run into a group like this. You know, Alarak only died twice. Look at all he had a lot of hero damage. He was picking us off a bunch. Nova was picking us off. She was doing a good job on things, um, and that's you know that's bound to happen in a situation like that. But a lot of our deaths were just absolutely unnecessary deaths that gives the enemy team an advantage. Um, that thankfully they didn't capitalize on. There was that one, for example, that one shrine that I that thought for sure that was going to be theirs. I forgot that they just kind of let us have it. Um, they absolutely could and should have taken that. So small things like that are what can make a difference in your game. I mean, I you know I clearly made mistakes. I was fortunate enough to be playing a character that was very forgiving to those kind of mistakes where I was able to get away. Um, but you know, just just check your map. None of those things. I, I think. I, I like to think that none of the the deaths that I pointed out were were too glaring in the sense that you know they, they got caught by surprise. If you were paying attention to the map and looking at your surroundings, then yeah, you you, you know you should have seen it coming and you should have been able to back off. So anyway, that's kind of how that game goes. Um, fortunately, we were able to uh, to pull off the W, uh, and it worked out in our favor. You know, it's it's one of those things of that rank where everyone makes a lot of mistakes, and I, you know, I guess whoever makes the last mistake is what's gonna, you know, is what loses it. Moral of the story is: check your map, and you'll end up uh, in a better place than if you didn't. Well, anyhow, uh, I'm Conman. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.